Hi guys and welcome. My face mask club is here and I'm really excited. But before we dive into this box, if you're new here, hello, my name is Amy. If you love all things beauty like our YouTube family does, then hit that subscribe button before you leave and come and join us. We are a lovely bunch. With that being said, make sure you've got the kettle on, you've pulled up a chair and let's go. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the face mask club, they are a sheet mask subscription service <laughs> it's absolutely brilliant this is k beauty it comes through your letterbox so you don't have to be at home it's beautifully presented i absolutely love it and as a sheet mask fiend because i do love a sheet mask this is absolutely perfect you can get a five sheet mask subscription or a seven um, you can get one-off boxes as well if you just want to try the service in both five and seven masks um, i recommend you check them out your address comes on the back, which is quite cool. Um, yeah, I will link it down below how much I pay and a link to their website so you can go and check them out. But I really do love this and do recommend it. When you open it up, it says self-care is not selfish. Look at this. It's so cute the way they put it together. And it says, hi, Amy, we are loving the blueberry juicy mask this month, which is your favourite. And you always get a little personalised card, which I really like. It's a really nice kind of touch. This is how it comes. So I do apologise. A bit of noise while I kind of bust in here because I just can't wait. I get the seven mask subscription. So I'm just going to count these up. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, yes. So here's a cheeky sneaky peek. So let's dive in. Mask number one is kind of what I expected it to be. It's from Holika Holika, and this is different packaging from them, and it's the Blueberry Juicy Sheet Mask. Look at this, this is really cool. I do like Holika Holika, um, their sheet masks. I have tried also one of their honey masks that you kind of leave on overnight. It's really, really nice. So yeah, really looking forward to trying this. Um, there is some English on the back. As per usual with um, sheet masks, I always go with a cleanser. If you're gonna use a toner, use a toner. Make sure your skin is nice and dry and then go in with your mask. And I normally leave it for 15 to 20 minutes unless they specify a bit less or a bit more. So yeah. Um, also, if you're having trouble kind of reading the back of these, you can download from the iPhone app store a translating app and you just scan it over and it translates a whole lot, which is absolutely cool. So yeah, really looking forward to trying mask number one. Mask number two, oh, is from a brand I don't think I've seen before. It's the Vita Lifting Sheet Mask. Where's that from? I can't read the um, brand on it but it's an anti-wrinkle mask. There's really not a lot of English on this one, so I'm gonna to have to translate it. This packaging is absolutely amazing, though I really like it. We got faces on the back, and I really am at the moment hitting home the anti-aging, getting the hydration in, trying to get extra collagen in. It's really cool. This one, it says you leave on for 20 minutes, which is fabulous. So yeah, really looking forward to that. And it's nice to see some different brands. So that's cool. This number three is from the brand baroness and it's the coenzyme q10 sheet mask and it says this skin matching mask helps your skin to be elastic and look younger for giving effect of moisturizing and firming this film on skin will feel silky and fresh you know, the translation on these isn't absolutely amazing but you kind of get the gist of it so yeah this is quite cool a nice q10 kind of anti-aging mask which is cool there is a fair bit of English on the back of there and there is some faces as well. So it kind of, you know, picture, picture I cannot say that word, um, tells you what to do as well, which is quite cool. I do like that. So that was mask number three. Mask number four is from the same brand as this and I can read it now. It's from App Womb. And this is the capsule sheet soothing mask and it says for soothing and protection it says this soft cell fabric closely envelops your skin providing no irritation skincare this mask pack essence soothes and protects the skin and it says it's made with cellulose sheet intensively soothing sensitive skin for all skin so that's cool so if you have got sensitive skin this will be a good one and we've got some big faces on the front and there is 
quite a lot of English on the bottom here, which is quite cool. Sometimes it is a bit too small, so I have to either whack my glasses on or take a photograph and zoom in. <laughs> so yeah, number four looks very interesting. Number five is from Seven Sin Energy, and it's the Aqua Moisture Pack. I quite like this. It looks like it's going to be a really nice kind of hydrating mask. I like this packaging. Um, my favourite colour is blue, so I absolutely love it. And it's got a sodium hyaluronate and betaine infused facial mask. Works to hydrate your skin. It's a natural protector. Seven extract enhance soothing and moisturising effect to manage a healthy and pure skin condition. There's got quite a lot of English on the back of here. We've got faces. It's got the benefits as well. So a couple of um, ingredients of the mask, which I quite like. Yeah, I, I like that one. It looks pretty simple and straightforward, which is what I quite like. Mask number seven. Oh, it's also from Baroness. And this is the tomato mask sheet. I've used a tomato sheet mask before and I really didn't like it. It smelled like I was putting tomatoes on my face. So I'm hoping this one isn't heavily fragranced. And it says the skin matching mask helps your skin to be elastic and look younger by giving the effect of moisturising and firming. Um, and it says it will leave your skin feeling silky and fresh. So this is quite cool. There is not a lot of English on the back of this one, but we do have some clear faces. So you will get the gist of um, what's going on. I'm sorry, my phone is going absolute crazy <laughs> in the corner. So yeah, if I keep looking down, I'm being a bit distracted. So I'm really looking forward to that one. <laughs> I like these masks. This is from the brand Face Facts and it's called A Girl's Night In and it says a chill and glow sheet mask made with super skin ingredients, strawberry extract, alatin, vitamin C and it's vegan and it's printed so my face will look like strawberries. I might use this one this evening. You leave this one on for 20 minutes. They are very clear with their instructions on the back of the Face Facts masks, which I really like. Their packaging is always really quirky. Um, I think they did a 3D mask, which I didn't like because it didn't fit properly, but their normal standard masks like this are absolutely amazing. I do like them. So I'm struggling at which one's my favourite. So as a recap, Face Facts Girls Night In, really looking forward to trying it. We've got the Baroness Tomato Sheet Mask. I'm hoping it doesn't smell like real tomatoes because that was really off-putting, but I'm looking forward to trying that one. The Sin Energy, Seven Sin Energy Aqua Mask is a really good way of getting some moisture into your skin. So definitely looking forward to trying the hydrating one. We have got the App or A Womb Capsule Sheet Soothing Mask, which is quite good as it's getting warmer now. Um, soothing masks are really good if you've been out in the sun, especially if they're aloe vera. The Oat Womb, I'm so sorry for mispronouncing it, is the Vita Lifting Sheet Mask. I'm very intrigued. And I'm looking forward to trying this one. We've got another one from Baroness, the Coenzyme Q10 mask sheet. Yeah, it's just, I, I do like Q10. I've got a Q10 cream that I need to get on my face quite soon. I keep forgetting to use it. So yeah, it'd be nice to try this one. And the Holica Holica Blueberry Juicy Mask Sheet. I think these two are my favourite this month. <laughs> I can't decide between the two. The packaging is both absolutely amazing. I'm really intrigued to try this one. And the Girls Night In Glowy Sheet Mask, but who doesn't love a glowy sheet mask? They're my favourites at the moment. So yeah, really, really pleased with this week's, uh, this month's masks, sorry. If you get the um, Face Mask Club subscription, I can't speak today, I need a cup of tea. Let me know what you kind of got this month and what your favourite one would be. Or if you've used any of these, what do you kind of think of them? Yeah, drop me a comment down below. Thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you again soon. In the meantime, lovelies, please take care. Bye-bye.